So yesterday I asked you to solve 53 plus 28 using a different strategy, the number line. And we haven't done it in a little while, so I gave you a couple hints of using base 10 blocks to figure out your jumps and your hops. Well, yesterday we used base 10 blocks to find the answer, which was 81. So today, using our next strategy, we're hoping to get the same answer. If you didn't do it already, go ahead and try your number line strategy. And if you did, then let's see how you did. So my number line is set up. Of course, I needed to draw the line. I circled my bigger number and I used base 10 blocks to represent my second number in my addition equation. So I have two rods and eight cubes. Now, I'm ready to start solving using my number line as a strategy. Okay, so I set up my problem. My 53 goes under my line since I circled 53. That's where I'm starting. I have two jumps of 10 in red that match my two rods under the two and 28. And then I have eight hops of one that match my eight cubes. It's a good thing we started with base 10 blocks first. So now I'm ready for the last step, which is to do my counting on the bottom of my number line. I'm starting with 53 and I have to add 10 and then I get 63 and I have to add 10 more and I get 73 and then I have to count by ones for the rest of those little hops. Are you ready? Let's do All it. All right, so we've got 63, 73, and then when I'm counting my ones, as you can see, I don't have too much room on my line, so I had to do 74 and then give myself some room, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, and here's my answer, 81. Thank goodness it matches my answer from yesterday with the base tens, 81. All right, I'm gonna give you two problems that I would love for you to try on your own. We've already done this. This is review. All you gotta do is get your brain back into mathematician mode. You ready? Okay, 